In today's lecture, we are going to discuss on star and delta transformations, right? So the figure one here, it shows uh, the star and delta combinations together, right? So the outer one looks like the symbol delta, right? And the inner one, the yellow color, is looking like the, letter, the symbol star, right? So if you invert that, that looks like the letter Y. Right. Sometimes the star connection is also called the Y connection, right? So we'll discuss more on this. And this is the images of, you know, when you split this, the image one, it becomes like this. And uh, the star and delta are separated. And as you can see, the star connection has a neutral that is absent actually in the delta connection, right? So we can see three nodes. So the first one, the second one is the delta connection here. I'll just write the delta and this is star. Right, the second one is the star one. Right, so you can see three nodes here actually. I'll just change the color of the pen. Is right? Yes. So three nodes A, B, and C. There are resistances connected between these nodes. This is R A B that is present between the nodes A and B. And between A and C, it is R A C or a C and between C and B it is R C B or R B C right so uh, the last one you can see the resistances between A and neutral the star connection you can see it is R A and between B and neutral it is R B and in C from between C and N neutral it is R C right now we are going to see how can you uh, do the transformation between the star and the delta yes so we are going to apply the basic rules which we studied in our classes as the last previous classes right so we can uh, take the nodes a b and c right so we are going to operate between these two these three nodes and how uh, this you know the uh, transformation is happening if these two star and the delta connections are equal then the resistances between these two nodes are also going to be equal with that having it that mind we are going to do the derivation now right so for example if r a b and r in the delta is equal to r a and r b of the star right so that is what we are going to do now just change the color of the pen right so the transformation is delta to star transformation right so we are going to see what is happening between the nodes a and b of the star and to the delta right so equating the resistances resistances between the node pairs node pair a b right so in the star right so r a and r b are the resistances between the nodes a and b so they are in series we can add those two and in the delta so what is between a and b it is r a b right so that you can see in from the figure the delta so r a b is in between a and b right this this a and b is in parallel with r a c and r b c but r a c and r b c are in series right so that means r these two are in series right so i'm just marking so r a b is in parallel with these two right so i'll just erase this so that you won't be confused the later later parts will uh, just go back to the equation now so r a b is parallel to the combination r b c and r c a or r a c whatever you call it right r b c and r c are in series so that series combination is in parallel with r a b so you can simplify this right so r a b multiplied by r b c plus r a b multiplied with r c a 
right? So this thing is whole divided by the total resistance RAB plus RBC plus RCA. Let it be the equation number one. Right, and now we shall do this, this the same thing for the notepad BC. Right, so no, for the notepad BC, notepad, yes. So if we consider the star uh, connected BC, so RB and RC are there. So they are in series. So we can add these two. Right, going back to the delta connection. So what is between RB and RC? It is RBC. Right, that you can see from the diagram. Right, so RBC is there. RBC. So this RBC is parallel with the remaining two resistances. So what are they? RAB and RCA. Right. So just apply the same logic we followed for the previous equation, and you can see RBC, RAB plus RBC RCA whole divided by the total resistance or AB plus RBC plus RCA right so let it be the equation number 2 right and repeat this for the next notepad C and A right for the notepad notepad C A right so between C and A in the star we have R C and R A R C and R A they are in series so that you can add them right so in the delta right <coughs> I'm sorry in the delta we have R C A parallel to R A B and plus R B C right so this unit R A B and R B C are in series and it's parallel with RCA, right? You can repeat the same thing we did it for the previous one. And the whole divided by the total resistance. Right, and let it be the equation number three. Right, and now what we are going to do is to subtract equation number two from equation number three, right? So doing this, we'll be getting some, uh, you know, we'll be getting near to the answer, right? So RC plus RA is obtained from equation 3 and RB plus RC is obtained from equation number 2, right? So implying this, RC gets cancelled and we'll be getting RA minus RB, right? So that is equal to. So how can you simplify this, right? So we'll go and check how to simplify this. So we can ignore the common terms. So the common terms here are RBC RCA minus RCB RCA. They'll be getting cancelled because of the subtraction, right? And after this, you can find RCA RAB minus RBC. This this term in the top, right? So RBC or AB divided by the total resistance. In case if you are having any confusion, so you can uh, rewind your video and you can check for the proper expression, right? So uh, I just erase this because I have made a small overwriting here. It is RA minus RB right and let it be the equation number four right now what we are going to do is the most interesting thing right you have to uh, add this uh, let it be the equation number four you have to add equation one and equation four right let's see what happens so you have ra plus rb in the lhs right so what do you uh, what do you have in uh in the equation one it is ra plus rb right so RB and uh, RB is, is in the you know opposite, so it get cancelled. So we have what we have is we have two RA, right? So adding these two expressions RAC, RAB, um, right? So R 
R A C. All right. So they share the common denominator. So you have you can continue writing like this. So no problems. Right. So this is from the fourth equation. Right. Yeah. And they share the common denominator. So you do not have any problems with this. So R A B plus R B C plus R C A. You can close the brackets and repeating terms or R B C or A B or B C or A B. You can cancel them, right? And can go go down and can check for the further simplification. So R A B R C A plus R R A B or C A. So we have two R A B or C A, right? So plus R B C plus R C A. Right, so the two gets cancelled, and the equation for R A is this, right? And um, R A B R C A divided by the total resistance of the circuit, given circuit, right? The delta circuit actually plus R C A, and this is the expression for R A. And similarly, you can find expressions. Let it be A. Let it be a right, and uh, similarly, you can find expressions for R B. So it is R B C multiplied by <coughs> R A B divided by the total resistance will be equation B, right, and R C. Can be written as R B C R A B divided by the total resistance. Right. So how to find this? Right. So it is actually very easy. You can follow the same steps you did for uh, R A. Right. I'll tell you a shortcut to find out if it is correct or not. We'll go back to the picture we saw earlier. Going across all the derivations we did. These are the expressions we are following. Now you can see this picture. So, what is the resistance between A and B? Um, it is R, R A, R C. Um, I think it's yeah. Um, I have to change this. It is R C, and this is R B, right? So this is R A B, this is R C A, and this is R B C. Now so to find the value for expression for RA, now we can see RA is lying between RCA and RAB, right? So I can write that first, RAB and RA is equal to RAB or RCA, no problems, you can write any, any way. Uh, it is lying between these two resistances and it has no connection with RBC, except you have to add the total resistances in the last, right? So RAB plus RBC plus RCA. Right, and this is for R A, and now for R B. So R B is lying between R A B and R B C. So R B is nothing but is lying between R A B and R B C. So divided by the total resistance. Right, it has no connection with R R C A except it is divided by. The total resistance which includes RCA right so similarly you can do this for RC right so RC it is lying between RC it is lying between RCA and RBC right so similarly you can do this for RCA also and you can check uh, if it is correct using this method shortcut method right so if they ask you in a descriptive format, you have to do this to score marks, right? Please don't memorize anything, right? So I hope you have understood. And if there is any doubt, you can put it in the comments box. Thank you so much for watching.